Hi, this is Salman Bilal and uh, today I'll be giving you a short tutorial on how to create a VSO extension. Before we start, we require these following things in order to create an extension. Uh, a Visual Studio Team Service account. In case you're not already signed up as a Visual Studio Team Service account, you can go to visualstudio.com slash team services and uh, you can sign up uh, as a free account. And uh, then uh, you need a text editor. In this tutorial, I'm using Notepad++. Then the latest version of Node, you can get this from nodejs.org and you can download the latest version and install it into your system. Then the TFS cross-platform command line interference. This is basically used to package your extension. So once you've installed Node, just copy this line into your Node. It'll automatically download the extensions and uh, a home directory for your project so this is the home directory now first let me explain you the structure of the extension in this image folder we're going to put the logo of the extension and in this SDK we're gonna put uh, the SDK of uh, the Visual Studio I'm gonna tell you how to install this SDK uh, later in this tutorial and uh, then uh, default HTML page is the page that is going to be displayed on uh, your extension. And uh, then this is the debug log. And then this is the overview of the extension. It explains about the description and uh, the purpose of the extension. And you can write everything in it. And then readme is the instruction before downloading the extension. And uh, this is the manifesto of your extension. So uh, first we need to install the core SDK as I mentioned in the SDK folder. Uh, basically it enables the web to communicate uh, to the host team service and uh, to perform uh, certain tasks like uh, initializing, notifying that an extension is loaded or getting context uh, about the current page. So uh, we need to install this SDK into this SDK folder. We go to um SDK and uh, we just download uh, we just download it by using this command we We press enter and uh, it's going to install the SDK into the SDK folder. So uh, once it is installed, it will give you this known modules. We just have to get into the library and uh, copy this and put it back into the script folder. All right. So moving, uh, we're done with the SDK. Now let's uh, start with the manifest of uh, this extension. So this is the manifest of your extension. Uh, this is the manifest version. And uh, this is going to be the ID of the extension. And uh, this is the version uh, that your extension is going to have. You can, if in case of update of uh, the extension, you just have to update the version and upload the package file to the publish account. And uh, then this is the name of your extension. And this is the description that is going to be showed when you download the extension. And publisher, you're going to put the, your publisher uh, account name that you've signed in for if you're going to upload this extension. And uh, these are the targets that uh, lets you uh, get uh, traffic for this extension. And the icon, you give the uh, URL of the logo uh, PNG. And uh, this is the detail where you put the overview. As I mentioned, you just you put anything over here, like uh, you just uh, edit it. And this is a sample overview. And uh, then there is uh, the contributions. You put an ID to your extension and the description, of course. And uh, this this URL default HTML as uh, for your default HTML page. Let's uh, see how the default HTML page is. In this uh, extension, I'm just only used a hello world page that would be displayed on uh, 
your uh, TFS uh, once, uh, as a separate tab once you open that, uh, a hello world. Uh, so this is the structure of the default, um, uh, default page. And uh, once we're done with this, we need to package this uh, whole extension to upload it to the uh, publisher account. So to uh, to package this, we need to first uh, come to the to the home uh, uh, to the home directory by going to d slash so extension. All right, so we're into the home um, uh, home directory. Now you have to copy this line, and uh, you have to paste it over here. This is going to package your extension by your publisher ID name. That is uh, my name over here and your extension name and your version. So now you have to sign in to your uh, publishing portal, a package uh, where this, you're gonna see a page like this. There'd be an upload new extension option. You browse it and you uh, upload the published uh, package that we made and then you upload it. And here you go. Uh, my first sample extension is uploaded. Now, in order to check this, you sign in to your account, uh, your PFS account and download this extension into your TFS. I'll go to my TFS. All right, and uh, then there's the browse marketplace. As you see, your uh, your uh, your extension is public because in the manifest you you give this option public true. If you want to keep it private just for your own company's sake, nobody could download it, and only you invite people to download the, this extension, then you have to remove this line from the manifest but uh, in this tutorial i've made this public anybody could come to the marketplace and download this uh, extension so let's search my uh, the name of this extension in the marketplace first uh, my first sample extension There you go. It's free and uh, you just click on it. And you install it. And you have to select the account for which account you need to uh, get this extension for. So I'm going to go with the same one. And once it is checking for the permissions to install, the admin can install the extension. So once it's checked, you confirm it and uh, then it will be installed to your project. So now I'll go to proceed to account and uh, once I go there, I'll be seeing, let, let me choose any of the project. And uh, when I go to work, I'll be seeing a hello tab. This is uh, the tab that I gave on my manifest over here, hello, and it will redirect to the default HTML page. 
and uh, that's what I get. So that's all. Thanks for watching the tutorial.